This is day six on board. Hope you guys can hear and see me. Welcome in, welcome in. Thought I would go live. We're going to be sailing away from Cabo San Lucas here soon. Um, so I dropped Joe Murray off to the kids club and saw a nice view out. And I said, you know, I'll just go live from here. So hope you guys are doing well. Welcome in, welcome in. And if you're new, I'm Raquel from MH Family Ventures. We are a cruise vlogging family. Welcome in. Hope you guys can hear and see me. Hope the Wi-Fi is okay. The Wi-Fi has been kind of on and off. Welcome in, Parker's on the go. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. This impromptu live. We're here in beautiful Cabo San Lucas. Um, we had a tour this morning. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Parker's on the go. Welcome in, Tom, LaToya. Welcome in. Hello, hello. See, I'm sitting here on board Carnival Panorama. Um, welcome in, Adrian. Just dropped Joe Marie off to her kids' club and didn't feel like wandering off someplace else. I have to get her in like an hour and a half, so I thought I'd go live from right here. Um, the trip, welcome in, Keelan. It's great. Enjoying Carnival Panorama. We had a beautiful day in Cabo. Um, our first time here, actually. So it was really nice. We went whale watching. So that was interesting. Um, welcome in, Jolinda. Welcome in, um, Ella McKinley. Trying to readjust my camera. Hope you guys are doing well. I have Drew sitting here with me as well. Let me show you guys my view. If I can figure out how to turn this camera around. Hold on. Well, Drew's right here. You want to wave, Drew? Hold on. Drew's right there. <laughs> Let me show you guys this view in Cabo. Well, this is what we're looking at. Weather's been perfect. Yep, so this is our view. Oh, looks like my lens might be dirty. Hopefully you guys can see that. <laughs> oh, Parker's in the go. You guys just got back on Mariner of the Seas, which was our first Royal Caribbean ship. I think it was yours as well. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful day. We went whale watching today. Yeah, yeah, definitely add it to your list. Um, we didn't plan it well, though. So the whales start migrating or mating and then migrating toward Alaska um, around February, like the beginning of February through the end of March. We saw some whales today, but not as many as we were hoping to. They said if we would have been here like last week, like they were like, you would find them in pods. So we didn't get to see that this time, which is fine. Yeah, it's beautiful. Mariner was our first one to West Coast cruise. Yeah, this was our first time back on the West Coast since um, since our first family cruise. Let me turn my camera around. So yeah, this is our first first time back on the West Coast since 2019. Our first cruise was on board. What ship were we on? Carnival Imagination. So um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions about Carnival, feel free to ask. Um, we've been having a really, really good time. Really no complaints. This sailing is a little bit more relaxed than any cruise I've been on. Um, and I've had a couple uh, followers and clients kind of share that with me. Like it's definitely a lot more laid back. You'll see that like whenever I have the embarkation video, you'll see that like the sail away is very, um, yeah, it's not, it's not like hype or what have you. Um, so very different. Our cruise director is Dion. He's pretty good, but he's not as hype as I expected him to be. But I think it might just depend on the region you're in. So, yeah. Welcome in Natural Health, Natural Beauty. It says, hey, Drew, I hope you and the family have a good time. We are having a good time. Um, so he's just kind of hanging out here. You guys know he's at that in-between stage where he's 18 now. He can't go to the kids' club or teens' club. Um, there's not a whole lot of activities going on. So, and we kind of, you know, have to supervise or whatever. So he's usually on the Lido we're watching or keeping an eye on. Um, there's a movie playing tonight, right? Yeah, I think Fast and the Furious. Yeah, he's going to watch Fast and Furious tonight. So he's finding things to do. Welcome in, Tom. Says, I'm there on for Wednesday next month. Have excursions every port except Cabo. Your resort in PV looks fun. I'm trying to think what resort we were at. Yeah, that one, that resort, I'll, I'll be honest though. The resort was beautiful. Now this was the resort for a day. This was the uh, um, Rio, the Rio, um, Hotel Rio Vallarta, and, um, it was beautiful. The drinks were pretty good. The food just wasn't good. So, um, if you guys saw my post, I didn't even make mention of the food. The food just was not good. Um, 
So, I mean, it works if you're going there to, to drink and party. It really is that type of vibe. And I guess the food would work if you're not like I wanted to go there to have good food. And it just really wasn't. Um, I would recommend it, though, if you just want to go have they have five different pools. They have a beautiful beach. Um, so if you just want to go relax and drink, then absolutely. But if you are looking to get some really good food, no. No. Um, yep. So, yeah, and Forenze, we, um, Drew and I will actually be on Forenze in May. So we were booked on the inaugural, and then when the changes happened, um, we weren't able to do the week-long inaugural. So we decided to just push it back. Um, right after, actually, I think the day after he graduates, we're headed back to California. Actually, I'll be back in California. <laughs> well, after this cruise, I'm getting on another cruise the next day. And then going home for two days. And then I'll be back on the West Coast, which I don't know why I just didn't plan it out to where I was staying here. But we have some other plans coming up. Um, we are glad you're having... Yes, thank you, Everyday Getaways. Welcome in. And welcome to the 42 people watching. If you guys could give this video a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. When you're on a cruise, do you compare the current ship to previous ships, or do you just enjoy the ship for what it is? Um, I enjoy the ship for what it is. But part of my job, part of kind of what I do is comparing... Especially if they're different, um, like this is on the West Coast, so it is different than cruising like out of New Orleans or cruising, you know, um, you know, in other regions. So I do kind of compare that because people want to know that there is a difference. Um, but as far as like the ship itself, I mean, especially Carnival, they're pretty much all the same. <laughs> so, so, I mean, when you have the same type of class, they're all pretty much the same. They all have the same types of food. So I don't really compare it like that. But um, yeah, yeah, I feel like I have to compare. But I don't compare like saying, oh, yeah, this ship better than this ship. Um, it's just more so like, okay, this ship has maybe more dining options than these other ships or you know, that type of comparison. But not comparing like griping com uh, comparing or anything like that. Because um, I think each ship, regardless if it's new or old, kind of has its own little, um, you know, features that people like. about them. Like I like some of the um, old, like even fantasy class ships we enjoyed. So yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I do compare, but not really, like, to complain or anything like that. But um, this ship has been pretty good. Um, the only the only complaint that I would have would be the service is a little slow sometimes um, compared to other ships. Um, but I think that's just the laid-back style of, I don't know, being on the West Coast. I don't know if, I don't know if that makes a difference, but it seems to be the service is, is just a little bit slower. Not bad. Just a little bit slower. Like dinner the first night was like two hours and 15 minutes. And we didn't even get dessert. We wound up leaving because it was taking too long. Um, welcome in Myers Mel. Appreciate you being here. Welcome in Michelle. Thanks for being here. Welcome in Jonathan. And shout out to all of our members watching. Welcome in Christina. Says, I've watched one of your earlier videos to St. Thomas. Do you like cruising better than just flying in somewhere and doing Airbnbs? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We like to cruise. Um, I think cruising best value out there. Um, I do like to, like, St. Thomas is one of my favorite islands, so, sorry, this boy's distracting me, he's screaming. Um, I, <laughs> I have a, ten my attention span's not that great. Um, I like to go places. We don't do that as often as cruising at all, and we were just talking that maybe we need to squeeze in, like, an all-inclusive or do something. Actually, Phil and D, if you guys watch Phil and D's Travel Spree, they did one, they were in Rio, um, in Cancun, I think Cancun. And after watching your series, I was like, yeah, we, it's probably about time to go back to an all-inclusive. I do have one all-inclusive vlog series on my channel, and that was on our channel. And that was when we first started vlogging. It's me and my sister, Cheryl. We went to um, Puerto Morelos, which is right here near Cancun. We went to El Cid there. It was nice. But, yeah, I like cruising better than going places because I feel like you have everything here. You can get off, do your excursions, get back on the ship. It's not a whole lot of having to plan and do things i'm one that's hard for me to sit still so um like an all-inclusive doesn't work for me because i probably would still spend more money out and about seeing things i like to see things and do things um so for me to sit at a resort all day like i would do that to relax like ron would love that so like if he and i could get away we would probably do something like that and just chill but i like to be out so i feel like if i booked an all-inclusive resort i would probably still be out and about spending money that i don't need to just joining. Are you on the panorama? Yes, I'm on the panorama. Welcome in. Um, thanks for you guys. Thanks for being here. Welcome in, Fabian from Germany. Welcome in, Michelle. <laughs> Ron said, are those new sunglasses? They are. These right here, I got $8 at the in Cabo. My other glasses broke. 
Um, yeah, that will get me too. <laughs> Uh, I love your family videos. I can't wait for my first cruise in 25. We'll have a great time on your first cruise. Um, yeah. I appreciate you guys watching. Let me show you guys just U.S. dollars, Ron. He's working. So let me show you guys this view again for those of you just coming in. We're in Cabo. There's Andrew sitting there. Let me show you guys. This. We're going to be sailing away here soon. It's beautiful. This, I mean, the entire cruise is in. When we first got on the ship, the, the embarkation day, it was drizzly a little bit, but nothing since. It's been a little windy, so it's been rocking a little bit. But temperature-wise, like right now, it's like 75. Um, it's not warm enough to get in the water. Like the water is ice cold. But like it's been bright, sunny, 75, 80 degrees. Perfect. Yep, so this is Cabo. So if you don't know, guys, this is a tender port. So a lot of these little boats you see, like this blue and white one that's coming up, that is a water taxi. So they have a couple of larger ones and then they have these smaller ones. So you have to take a water taxi. Today's a very short port day. That's why we booked our excursion through Carnival. Um, so we started at seven and back on board time was two or it is two. So we have a little bit of time before people have to be back on board. But yeah, so we were out here whale watching. We saw a few whales, not as many as we were hoping for, but, but yeah, this is beautiful. It is beautiful. And again, this is our first, all three of these ports were our first time. Um, we were in uh, Puerto Vallarta, Mazatlan, and now Cabo. We have one more sea day before we get off the ship. And that's been a great time. Let me turn this back around. Yeah, that's been a really good time. Welcome in Team Reese Travels. Appreciate you being here. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, the weather's been beautiful. Um, like I said, no complaints. No complaints at all. Um, so we have today, tomorrow's a sea day. Then we're off the ship. The family is headed back to um, Ohio. I will be boarding Discovery Princess for my 50th cruise. Um, that's just a three day. So I figured since I was all the way over here, and guys, I have my own schedule. I create my own schedule. I was like, well, I don't have anything to rush back home to, except for David Ruffin. I do miss him. Um, um, I do miss David Ruffin, but, um, so I figured, you know what, if I'm going to be over here, I might as well try to hop on something else. So, um, I'm really feeling princess cruises lately. So I was like, well, let me go ahead and get on there every night. It kind of worked out. So yes. Um, thanks babe. Just hit that like button for us. But yeah, if you have any questions about Carnival Panorama, feel free to ask. Now, if you didn't catch my reel that I posted earlier today, Ron and I did a Carnival Kitchen, which was my first time ever doing it. Um, it was my first time ever uh, doing Carnival Kitchen and I highly, highly recommend it. I'm like, if I haven't I done it, you know, this is the first time. Um, I've been on other ships that have offered it, just hadn't done it, but it was it was amazing. Jonathan says, 50th cruise, wow, will you be solo as Auntie Shrill joining you? You know, she's overdue for a cruise with me. Um, so she will be cruising with me in July. So um, we are part of Life of V, Veronica. She has a group cruise. We're going on her group cruise on Carnival Horizon in July. So that's her next cruise with me. Um, she'll be on board. But yeah, I'll be solo for this one. I was trying to figure out, I was going to have one of the kids go with me, but they'll miss two days of school and it just wasn't worth it. Um, so I've been having to get back home and readjust to the time adjust it work out and I honestly didn't plan this 50th cruise out well because I really wanted it to be with the family but when I went back and did the map and I was counting the cruises I said oh and I already had it booked so I said well I'll just go it'll be fine because it's my 50th cruise not their 50th um I heard great things about Carnival Kitchen glad you enjoyed it yeah it was amazing um we did the Indian the Indian um so Carnival Kitchen offers they offer two different things so they offer and they offer like a cooking class with dinner, which is relatively new. And then they have Carnival Kitchen, which is like an hour class, hour and a half, where they'll do like cupcake decorating. They'll do like a tailgate party. Um, so different things that you can pre-book. You can book it on uh, Carnival's website or the app um, as like, like an excursion. It's under specialty dining. And so they have a few new options where you prepare the food and then you have dinner and I had no clue it was three hours long it was three hours long 
um, pretty much you get your own cooking station. They have all of the ingredients laid out for you. The chef gives you instructions. Now, our chef was from India. Um, and he's the guy, he teaches all of the Carnival Kitchen classes on this ship. So he was extremely passionate. We love Indian food. Um, but he was extremely passionate about teaching, you know, food from his culture. So um, we really enjoyed it. Like he was giving us so much history and just kind of talking us through a whole bunch of different things. Um, and as we were cooking, we were able to sample and try things. And then after, like we were stuffed by the time we were cooking because we cooked maybe five different things. And um, by the time we finished cooking and we were eating, we weren't hungry, but they were like, um, yo, you have a full meal over here plus wine and stuff. So it was, it was awesome. I will definitely do it again. In fact, I'm already looking. I already have it booked for another cruise, but I'm looking also for Carnival Horizon. It's not on every ship. It's on, I think right now, just the Vista class ships, which would be Horizon, Vista, Panorama, and then the XL ships, Mardi Gras, Celebration, Jubilee. Maybe another ship, but yeah. I'm looking at a Princess Cruise for next year. I can't wait to hear. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have. I just started the series uh, for what ship was that? Sky, Prince, Sky Princess. That is out. The second part will be out on Saturday. The Wi Fi is not allowing me to upload, so I won't be able to upload my second part. But stay tuned for that. Yeah, the Indian food was really good. Oh, and what's nice is they email you the recipes for everything that you cook. And you have access to the chef to email back. So he's like, you're going to get the recipes um, at the end of the cruise. It'll be emailed to the, I guess, the email address and file for the booking. And then you can reply back and it goes to him and he'll reply back. So if you get stuck on anything or need help, he can, he'll actually, and he seemed like he really enjoyed getting emails from past guests, either showing off the food that they cooked at home or, um, or just, you know, asking questions. So yeah, we're excited for that. All right. Yeah, if you guys have any other questions, um, I was going to walk around for a little bit, but I decided not to. I'm, I'm kind of tired. Back-to-back you know, -back cruising and, you know, just kind of wears you out. So today's going to be a chill day. I can tell you that. We're not doing a whole lot. Um, I think there's two movies you're playing, Little Mermaid on the big screen. And then, is it Fast and the Furious, Drew? Fast and the Furious for Andrew. Um, we haven't really gone to any of the shows. And I think that's because I've seen all of Carnival show, shows multiple times. So they're not really that interesting to me anymore. So we haven't really done any shows. Um, so, yeah, we're just kind of hanging and chilling and trying to figure, you know, what we're going to do. Probably got to start getting packed because, like I said, tomorrow is the last sea day. Um, so, yeah. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, Brittany says, you, you just left Magic last week. Hope you have fun. Yeah, we were on Carnival Magic but Thanksgiving, we love Carnival Magic. That's probably one of our top Carnival ships. I hope you had a good time on Carnival Magic. Um, I like the itinerary that it's running right now. So what are the cookies like on the buffet? I always enjoy a chewy cookie. Um, I can tell you that I haven't eaten much as far as like desserts on this ship. I'm just not a huge fan of Carnival desserts. Um, but the cookies at Dyson Hat were the crunchy, like the the chocolate chip cookies were kind of the crunchy ones, not chewy. <laughs> um, Michael says, it's Family Feud on this ship. Yes, it is. So they actually had it last night. So if you don't know about Family Feud, um, if you have a family of five or if you can get five people together, you can audition for Family Feud. They do two nights of auditions. And then um, like the third or fourth night of the cruise, they'll have the Family Feud show. Um, for these larger ships, and maybe for all the ships, they have two shows. They have like the Family PG show and then they have the um family feud after hours so we did go to the family friendly family feud yesterday was it yesterday Drew? yeah yesterday so yeah they do have family feud um welcome in jocelyn appreciate you being here we are in cabo san lucas i'm on board carnival panorama for those tuning in um so i'm board carnival panorama this is day six um we've been to three different ports today we were well watching in cabo so we are here um i'll show you the view here in a second. Yes, I am on a ship. I am on board Carnival Panorama out of Long Beach, California. Can you tell us what kind of rooms y'all booked for this cruise? For this um, sailing, we are in interior cabins. Um, we're not big on like needing to spend a lot of money on our cabins because we're rarely in the cabin. So for this particular one, they were we did two interior cabins. So I'll have I'll have room tours for you guys available later. Do you have any European cruises booked this year? Not yet. 
Not yet. That's all I'm going to say. I'm looking. I'm looking. I really want to um, get back to the Mediterranean at some point. I want to do it sooner than later. I kind of have one on the books for next year, but I want to get back there sooner. So I might, I don't know, I might do a pop up somewhere. Who knows? But yeah, let me show you guys the view again. I think someone asked. So yeah, we're in Cabo and you really can't get enough of this view. It's, it's amazing. And then I'll show you guys the Lido. So no, this ship leaves out of Long Beach. So right now we're in Mexico. So you take off from Long Beach and there are a couple ships that leave from Long Beach. Normally we leave from the East Coast. We leave from Miami, Port Canaveral. Those are our typical you know, ports that we leave from. But right now we're in Cabo San Lucas. Croatia and is it Drew? I can't, I can't say that word. Plus Greek Island cruise would be good for you. That's what I'm looking at actually. That's what I'm looking at. Shamika says, I was there in December. Did you see any wells in December, Shamika? So it seems like we just missed, like we saw, we probably saw 10 whales this morning. Um, yeah, we probably had seen, we probably saw about 10 whales, um, but they said we just missed like the huge migration, which they said if we were here last week, we would have seen a lot more. Uh, so beautiful. What? Where else did you stop on this booking? So for this one here, we went to um, Puerto Vallarta and Mazatlan, which are, all three of these they're considered the mexican riviera so um three stops in mexico and we are back in long beach on saturday i'll show you guys the leader deck real quick so it's starting to fill up now people are back on the ship yeah you saw whales and seals we saw a couple seals yeah it's definitely beautiful this is a port that i definitely want to come back to I think we enjoy all three of the ports. It's nice to go to different ports. I feel like Cozumel, I know Cozumel, I know Costa Maya, I know, you know, those other Mexican ports. So it was kind of nice to get to see other side. Now, something that was surprising um, was the fact that the water is very different. So I think, um, I think um, we were kind of, you know, we're used to the Caribbean crystal blue water or what have you the water here is different it's not it's not quite that especially not when we were in um Puerto Vallarta it was not so if you look if you're looking for like that water you can see through this isn't the area yeah Cabo's really nice welcome in um big dream adventures um is it Lazada? uh love it I haven't been to Cabo yet definitely make it yeah I would probably want to come here and just explore for a couple of days I've heard it's beautiful Thank you, Adrian. I appreciate it. How is cruising from the West Coast different from the East Coast? Um, it was a bit rockier. Um, I think because the ports aren't as close together, like we were out in open ocean. Um, whereas like if you're doing the Caribbean, kind of sometimes those ports are like right side by side, so you don't have too far to go. Um, we were pretty rocky the last three nights. Not like rocky to the point of getting sick, but just like you felt the motion. And we're on the Lido deck, our cabins are on the Lido deck, so we felt a little bit more of that motion. Um, but just the vibe of people, um, it's different. It's different. So if you, um, if you've ever cruised like out of New Orleans, um, that vibe is different than like Miami or even Port Canaveral. It's, it's just a different vibe of people. Um, everyone, everyone's friendly. Like we haven't had any issues, but just more laid back it seems. But other than that, I mean, it's the same carnival cruise, same, same theme, same activities, Everything's pretty much the same. So really no big difference. Um, so yeah, Marcus says headed to Aruba in two weeks. We'll have a good time. Are you going to Aruba by cruise ship or are you going there on land? But yeah, have a good time in Aruba. Aruba is beautiful. That's a port that we have to get back to. Um, hopefully here soon. Um, Jerry James, welcome in. I'm counting down to July. Yes, we're looking forward to it. Uh, Ronelda, welcome in. How are you doing? Thank you so much, Jonathan, for that super sticker. We really do appreciate all the support. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Meet and I, welcome in. Hope you guys are doing well. Says peace to the chat. Yes, we appreciate you guys being here. Again, we are in Cabo. Um, I'll show you guys the view again as we're getting more people in. So I appreciate the 68 of you guys watching. Um, appreciate you being here. Yes, you're going to be on NCL. 
Yeah, so I'm trying to think of which ship NCL is going to Aruba. It's one of their older ships. Is, is it Getaway? Yeah, we definitely want to get back to Aruba. What did we do in Aruba? Do you remember, Drew? We were with, no, that was Curacao. I was going to say Irie Tours. What did we do in Aruba? Oh, Aruba, we actually went to the Rio with um, Resort for a Day. We had a really good time there. Now, the food at that Aruba, at that Rio, was better than the Rio here in um, Puerto Vallarta. Um, Prima, yeah, Prima is an awesome ship. Um, you definitely have to go to the um, food hall, the indulged food hall. That was my favorite spot on that ship. We will be there in July, so we can't wait for your take and views of this port. We trust your opinions. Thank you so much. Let me give you guys a quick view because you guys, yeah, you guys have a group cruise. Let's see. This is Cabo. So like I said, my only word of caution for Cabo is like we typically book um, third-party shore excursions. But we knew because this is a tender port that with it being a short port day, like I said, this was only a good six hours, I think. With it being a short port day, we weren't going to chance it knowing we had to catch a water taxi back. So we did book our whale watching through Carnival. So that would be my only tip right now about was to check the itinerary. I know a lot of their itineraries are short port days. I've even seen that like, like 7 o'clock to 1, like back on board times, 12.30, 1 o'clock. So definitely check that for Cabo. And I think it's because of the water taxi situation. Like a lot of these books coming toward us are water taxis. Some are really small. There are a couple, there, like two larger ones, but some of them are really small. So I think they try to get you back on board early to get everyone back. So just kind of caution if you're going to explore on your own, make sure you have enough time to get on the water taxis. Miss Penny says, just got off Wonder of the Sea, leaving next week on the Disney Wish. Now, we just saw the Wonder of the Sea in two of our ports, so I wonder if you were on that one. The Disney Wish, awesome. Hope you have a great time. But yeah, there are a lot of boats out here. It is, it is really beautiful. Welcome in, Mr. Travel Junkie. Appreciate you being here, because we're doing this itinerary in June. Can't wait. Well, I can't wait to see your content either. We have quite a few content creators in the, in the chat. Uh, Mr. Travel Junkie, we have Meet Nye, I know we have Parker's on the Go, Sig the Solo Cruiser, quite a few. Um, so if you guys love cruise content, definitely check these channels out. Hello from Illinois, my sunrise and I will be on sunrise in October. Yes, yeah, so we'll have a good time on Carnival Sunrise. So yeah, oh, this guy's air gliding. That's kind of cool. So yeah, so there's a lot to do here. So you just get out on the pier, you can catch a water taxi to things called Love Beach, which is, um, you guys know the Arch, which is a popular landmark here. Um, it's kind of right near the Arch, and they said that it's a, what they call a virgin beach, which means they don't have any vendors. So, um, like, guys, I can tell you one of our complaints, which I, I knew this before, is being here, there's a lot of tipping. In Mexico, like, it is expected for you to tip, and tip for everything, like, even to use a restroom. Um, yesterday, Joe and I had to use it really bad. We used it. It was pretty much a hole in the floor. It was disgusting. And they wanted, what was it, 10, uh, 10 pesos or something? I don't even remember, but I had Ron pay because we had to go so bad. <laughs> but, um, it was a lot of tipping, a lot of tipping um, since we've been here. So make sure you have dollar bills, what have you. Um, where were we? I can't even think of where we were yesterday. Sorry, guys. My mind is just gone. Wherever we were, oh, yesterday we did a um, tour through Shore Excursioneer. And it was up then. Oh, are we moving? Or that ship is moving. That's Carnival Miracle. Yeah, so Carnival Miracle, actually, I'm watching them back out. Carnival Miracle came into dock after us, and they're backing out now. So they must have been on that itinerary that is like, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. because they're already moving out. And we were on our whale watching tour when they pulled in. So check your itineraries for Cabo because it's one of those unique ports where um, where your time could be shortened. But yeah, so the tour yesterday was amazing. But the issue with the tour was they literally bounced us from person to person to person. And each person expected a tip. And I'm like, okay, so do I tip the main person that greeted us? Do I tip you as 
for a taxi driver? Do I tip you as our ferry rider? Do I tip you as our, <laughs> like it was just a lot. Um, so that was a little discouraging. But other than that, the tour, the tour was amazing. Let me show you guys um, Carnival Miracle. It's backing out. So yeah, so like I said, this ship just got here a couple hours after we did and it's already leaving. So yeah, check your itineraries for that. Um, let's see. Shalana says, hello, that Ryu short was too fun. I'm trying to think of what short that was. Um, oh, the foam party. Yes. Yeah. I only went out there because Joe Marie wanted to go. Um, <laughs> and I was trying to have fun, but, and Dyson was out, of course, out there filming me. So while that continues to back out, let me give you guys another view of, of, of Cabo. Is the Horizon a good ship to sail on? Welcome in, Matthew. Um, I don't know yet. I would say yes, it is, because it's the sister ship to Panorama. Um, I will be on Horizon in July, so I'll let you know for sure then. But yeah, I'm almost positive it is. It's one of Carnival's newer ships. Um, Carnival Horizon is from 2018, I think, off the top of my head. So it's one of their newer ships. It's a Vista-class ship. It's pretty nice. And I say that because I'm on Panorama, and Panorama is nice. KT Travels, welcome in. Says, hi from Northern California. We have cruised the Mexican Riviera many times. We prefer the Caribbean because we love to snorkel. Enjoy your vlogs. Thank you so much. Yeah, so that's my thing is I like to snorkel. I didn't even bring my snorkel gear this time or my pink vest because um, I didn't think we'd be able to snorkel. And guys, honestly, the water is ice cold, like ice cold. Welcome in, Charlene. Appreciate you being here from Indi Indianapolis. Welcome in Sea Life with us. And we have channel members in the house. I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, Q Creation says, that force or expected tipping rubs me the wrong way. I like having a choice because of the service and not because I'm a foreigner known for tipping. Yeah, yeah. And we had to, um, when we were at the, the, um, the beach yesterday, so the, the tour with Shore Excursion here, so the tour with Shore Excursion here included food. Guys, the food absolutely sucked. And you'll see it in the vlogs. Like, it was really bad. And the waiter, when we first sat down, he was telling us, like, this was, like, his third day, this and that, whatever. I don't know if it was just a sob story. But literally, at the end, we, we still had, like, 45 minutes left um, before it was time for us to leave. We paid our bill. We paid in on um, pesos. And he brought us back the change. So Ron just kind of took the change and he put in his pocket, whatever. Ron got up to talk to someone, and then the guy comes up to me, and he was like, hey, did your tour guide tell you about tipping policy? And I said, uh, he mentioned tipping, and he said, oh, well, I was just wondering because, um, he's like, it's not me, it's the way, the, uh, the cook, they asked me about the tip. And we pretty much had to say, hey, the food wasn't good. He didn't even put our order in, like, it just wasn't. Um, but the actual tour itself was really good. The food was just, the food has not been good at all in any of the ports we've been in. We didn't eat here in Cabo, but, um, at the resort in Rio, like it just, it was all right. I mean, it was all right, but yesterday's food was terrible. Um, but yeah, I don't like feeling forced to tip and we do tip. We are tippers. Um, but I don't want to feel forced. I don't want to feel forced to tip either. And you're, and they will come ask you and like stand there. And that's kind of been the thing. And I feel like more so this side of Mexico than like Cozumel, Cancun, um, like they are walking around and like in your face waiting for you to take a couple of dollars out. So I don't like that. Uh, let's see. Welcome in together. We travel. Appreciate you being here. Sink says, love the Vista class, especially the horizon. Having silver panorama and hope to one day. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Eric says, hello, loving the community. Well, we appreciate you being here, being part of our community. Oh, it's almost backed out. Let me show you guys real quick. So, yeah, that's Carnival Miracle. Now, Carnival Miracle, I think, is probably about to head to Alaska. Or um, I'm pretty sure Carnival Miracle is out of San Francisco. And it operates 10 night sailings to Alaska starting probably next week or the week after is when the Alaska season starts. So, uh, Sig says, wow, I've never known them to ask about a tip now. I tipped it by choice and don't want to feel obligated. Yeah, um, I'll be honest. I think it's this region because I've been to Mexico several times. And there are some spots that will mention a tip. 
But guys, the way they walk around with their tip boxes for everything, um, that was different. Yeah. And you'll see it in the vlogs. Like everywhere we went, they were asking for tips. Like even at the shop, I went to the shop to get a magnet and um, some vanilla and they had tip boxes like on the counter. Like I'm not tipping you to ring up my, my souvenir. So if you provide me with a service, that's different than you do on your job. If you're serving me food or if you're serving me a drink or if you're a part of a tour, a shore excursion or something like that, yes, I will tip you. But if you're just ringing up my souvenir, no, I'm not tipping you. Sorry. So, yeah. So, that so that was kind of, yeah, I, I was just thankful that I had cash on me. And actually, when we were in uh, Puerto Vallarta, we docked right across from the Walmart. So, we went there to get pesos because we didn't have pesos. Because we caught the city bus to the resort. So, yeah. But, yeah, but if you guys have any questions, um, I'm just kind of hanging out here on this. I'm just kind of hanging out here now because Joe Marie's in the kids club and they closed today at three. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to go back to the cabin. And the kids club is, like, literally right there. So, now I do like these shaded areas. So, this ship... Um, if you've been on Venencia, it's also like Venencia, um, if you've been on it. Because Venencia is a Vista class ship for Costa Cruises that at Carnival, you know, um, uh, rebranded for Carnival. How is the atmosphere and the weather? Weather's been perfect. It's been windy, so a little rocky, but consistently between 70 and 80 degrees. So perfect weather, like not too hot. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Not too hot at all. Hi from Rio de Janeiro. Welcome in. Welcome in. Yeah. So, so yeah, like I said, this is cruise number 49 for me. Um, next cruise is just in two days, three days, three days. My 50th cruise on board Discovery Princess. And that is just a short three-day cruise. Um, we will dock in Ensenada, Mexico. I have a tour plan, but I was thinking about canceling it. I've been to Ensenada before. But I don't know. I might just get off. Who knows? Um, does the panorama have the movie theater? They do not. So they have, I think they used to have the panorama. I think those IMAX theaters are going away on Carnival. This one has a sky zone, like a trampoline park. So a trick that I found out is on embarkation day, when you go to reserve, when you go to reserve on the app, um, there are some slots that are $0, so free. And so I was able to get Joe um, for last night. So their late um, glow party, um, she was able to go to last night free of charge. And they give her bare socks and a, a neon shirt that she gets to keep that says Carnival Panorama Sky Zone or whatever it is. So yeah, so no um, movie theater, but there is the Sky Zone or Trampoline Park. But she had fun. It was an hour session. And regular price is $20 for the session. Um... Leanne Travel, welcome in. Thanks for being here. Meet Nice says 49 Cruises is insane. Yeah, it is. It is. But I'm, I'm starting to branch off to do new things because, like, I get questioned all the time, do I get tired of doing this? I'll be very honest. I think sometimes I get wore out of doing the same cruise lines or cruise ships. Um, so, like, Carnival. I love Carnival. They're still our favorite cruise line. But if you guys have cruised Carnival a few times, you know they don't really switch things up. So it's pretty much the same shows, the same game shows, the same line dances. It's, and so for me, I feel like my vlogs are getting less informative and I'm more relaxing because I've seen and done this so many times. So it is refreshing for me to try other cruise lines like Princess. So my plan now is to incorporate more Princess cruises because I really like them. Um, so like I said, I'm on Sky Princess. That, that will be my third Princess cruise. So I plan on just adding on more you know, different cruise lines going to different places. So someone asked about the Mediterranean. I'm hoping to get back to the Mediterranean this year. So yeah, stop bragging about being on a cruise. Oh, it's not a brag. <laughs> it's not a brag at all. But yes, um, Meet Nice says insane in a good way. Yep, absolutely. It is. Yeah, it's pretty insane. It is pretty insane. Um, are you going to do... <laughs> Tinley says, just kidding. Are you going to do something special on your 50th cruise? I'm not. And honestly, like I said, I, I didn't plan it out well. I should have planned it out well. I should have like had 
I don't know. I just didn't plan it out well. <laughs> so I kind of lost count. I kind of lost count. And um, hello. No, no one's using it. Thank you. Yeah, I kind of lost count. And then when I went in to actually do the count, I was like, oh, I am at 50. So will you ever try Holland America? Yes, I will. Probably this year. So, yes. Um, yeah, that's the plan. Probably this year. My plan is to try all the cruise lines at least once. Um, I'll be very honest. I don't think Holland America is going to be my style. But I have clients that book Holland America. So, I like to get on the cruise ship because... Guys, let me just tell you this, and not bragging, but the more I cruise, the more cruises I book. I've literally booked 12 cruises since I've been on the ship. Um, I think I have maybe four more in queue. And so that's why I cruise, because I cruise, I'm bringing the content, I'm getting paid. Um, I'm on a cruise, people are reaching out to get booked, and it just kind of works out. So um, that's why I cruise so much. But like Holland America, I'll be, I don't think Holland America is going to be my vibe. Um, but I'm going to give them a try. I'm going to go with an open mind because I have clients that book Call in America or only book Call in America and love it. And I'm like, maybe there is something that I like. Like, I didn't think I would like Princess as much as I do, but I do like Princess. Um, so, yeah, I will try them. Whether I book them after, you know, the first time, I don't know. But um, I have to give them a try. Uh, Miser Mail says, um, Myers Mail says, I agree. After five Carnival Cruises, we want to, to mix it up with something different. Yeah, Carnival's great. Carnival's great. But, yeah, you get tired of the same shows. Like, I literally know some of the dance moves from the shows. That's how bad, <laughs> that's how bad it is. Like, I can get up there and do the show. Uh, so it's, it's probably about time for them to rotate some of those things out. Are we moving? Are we moving, Drew? We are moving. <laughs> Are we moving? I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell. Uh, Lida, is it Lida Shay? Says, I'm excited about the Princess Cruise. Yeah. Um, and if you guys are looking to cruise Princess, I do have some discounted cabins for Sun Princess for the U.S. inaugural. Now, we'll be on that ceiling October 14th, but it is not a group cruise. We will be on board. It's not a group cruise, though, um, for the U.S. inaugural for Sun Princess. So reach out to me. Um, KT Charles says, I want to try Sun Princess and Celebrity Beyond. We have only cruised Carnival and Royal. Now, I was on Celebrity Ascent, and Celebrity Ascent is a sister to Beyond. Loved Celebrity Ascent. Absolutely loved it. So, um, I'm sure Beyond is just as good. Sun Princess, we're really excited for. Um, like I said, and we're working with Princess Cruises, so we we will probably be on the media event before the inaugural. But I'm honestly trying to get on Sun Princess even before that. But we'll see. Um, Brandy says, I love your job and videos can't wait till I retire. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's work. <laughs> like I'm retired from education for now. Um, this is, yeah, this is my new work and I love it. It's fun. Um, Adrian says me too. Yeah. Yeah. Celebrity, celebrity is really good. So that, that's not a crew when I need to get on more. We are moving on. Right? Yeah, it looks like we've sailed away. Are we moving here? You know, so, sometimes it's hard. When all these ships are and um, boats are moving around, it's hard to tell whether you're actually moving. Myers Mel says, I'm looking at the Enchanted Princess this time next year. Yeah. Now, the Enchanted Princess, is that out of Fort Lauderdale? No, it's not out of Fort Lauderdale, is it? I don't know where that one's out of. But I want to do Princess to Alaska. That's what that's one of my goals. Um, hoping to get to Alaska this season. I don't know. We don't have anything booked yet for Alaska, but we might have something booked soon. So we'll see. Yeah, it looks like we're moving. Oh, we are moving. Yeah, because we don't have the rock formations there. Um, welcome in, Carol. Appreciate you being here. KT says. Sun Princess October 14th. I was looking at it sailing. Yep. And it's almost sold out. So um, I think I have I had 16 cabins. I think I have three cabins left. So yeah, send me a message if you're interested. Adrian says, I'm still trying to get on your Alaska cruise. Yeah, so our Alaska cruise next year is on Quantum of the Seas. We don't have many cabins booked at all. But I think it's going to be a very small group. Um, the price is just 
Alaska is expensive, so I totally get it. So like our upcoming group cruise next in July, we have 115, 116 people joining us for that. It's on MSC. It's uh, you know, it's not very expensive. Whereas Alaska, the Alaska one is very expensive. So we don't have many people booked. I think we have like four cabins, five cabins so far. Uh, the inaugural for now this is the U.S. inaugural. The inaugural for San Francisco already happened over in the Mediterranean a couple weeks ago. Um, this is the U.S. inaugural, so it's coming over to the U.S. and um, they'll have a U.S. inaugural cruise, um, bringing it over to the U.S. So there's an, a media event three days before that. So that is October 14th through the 19th. So. But yeah, so if you guys have any other questions about cruising, cruising on Carnival, cruising anywhere, feel free to drop those in the chat. Karen says, if you book a Mediterranean cruise, do you help with hotels for pre and post? Absolutely. I do everything except flights. And this is always hard to explain to people. I don't book flights for a couple of reasons. One, uh, I'll be very honest, there's no commission. <laughs> I'll be very honest. There's no commission and they are the biggest headache. Meaning if an airline has a cancellation, flight delay, anything like that, the travel agent is responsible for making new arrangements and contacting the airlines directly. And with me traveling and cruising as much as I do, I'm not available by phone. 90% um, of the cruising stuff I can deal with via email or chat or, you know, do, through my booking systems. With flights, you have to actually call. And so when you're out cruising, you can't be on the phone on hold for an hour or two because you have roaming charges. So because of that, I don't ever want someone to be um, kind of stuck at an airport because I'm on a cruise and their flight got canceled and I have to call the airline. I don't ever want that. So I don't book flight. So one, because there's no commission Two because it's a headache and just trying to, you know, with my travel schedule, um, the family's travel schedule, it just doesn't work, but we will send recommendations. So if you ask me for flights, I will tell you, I won't book it for you, but here's some options. So I don't have a problem doing that. I just won't book them. Um, but yeah, with Mediterranean, I help with pretty much everything, uh, pre post hotels, excursions, transfers, any of that, just no flights. Uh, is it Katie Santana? My parents watch you religiously. We'll tell your parents I said hello and tell them thanks for watching. We really do appreciate it. Matthew says, do you get better rates with the group? Yes. Um, so certain cruise lines, like I get, um, group rates for, so like Royal Caribbean, you probably see me advertise on our channel or on our, um, social media. Um, I can get really good rates with Royal Caribbean and with onboard credit. Um, sometimes Princess, Carnival, not so much. So certain cruise lines, yes. And if you book as a group, um, for the most part, you might save a few dollars, but you get some perks and things um, if you book as a group. So, so yeah. Uh, Q Creation says, question, weather-wise, which season or time of the year do you enjoy cruising the most? I like I'm not supposed to be in the sun. I have some autoimmune stuff, so I'm not supposed to really be in the sun, but I like the summertime. I like the heat. I like, um, I like, oh, here comes Ron. Um, I like the heat. I like to be, so I would say not too, too hot. Um, this 80 degree weather is perfect for me. So probably late spring, early summer, is probably my favorite. Um, if you cruise in like January, February, you're going to experience a little bit of weather as far as like the wind and um, yeah, it's a little bit rockier in like January, February, but I would say spring, summer, probably my favorite. A lot of people avoid that because that's when kids are cruising more, but I don't mind being with, with kids. And here's Ron. He doesn't have a mic, huh? Dinner in 15. It's not 5.30. No, it isn't. Your clock. No, it's not. It's 2 o'clock. <laughs> guys make sure you're looking at ship's time ron is ron's phone yeah that's the east coast time um leanne says so true i had to change a flight last week and spent two and a half hours making changes yeah i can't do it i love to help and do whatever i can and i've had some people say they won't book with me because i don't book flights and that's fine i'm just not your travel advisor <laughs> that's just the way i see it this is fine um so yeah so i mean i'm I don't think I'm for every client, and I don't think every client's for me. <laughs> so, so if I explain it to someone and they decide not to book, that is fine. I just don't want to deal with that stress because I would feel terrible if I was here right now and somebody was in Orlando.
to call American Airlines and can't get through and they're stuck. So I just don't book it. Most people understand that. Some people are like, no, um, I'll book with another travel agent. So, and you guys still hear me okay? It's getting kind of loud over here. People are saying hello to you. <laughs> Team Lee says, Ron was about to be super early for dinner. Yeah. What are you talking about? Can you guys still hear me? Uh, it's like it got loud when we came over. But <laughs> there's no tables over there. Where? No, I'm fine here. They said they can still hear me, so and we're going to be ending here soon, anyways. But yeah, but any other questions, feel free to ask. But yeah, if you book Mediterranean, I will absolutely help. It says Mean Shelton always get, gets us on for being on 17 smaller class ships. What's your take cruising on smaller class ships? I have no problem with that. I have no problem. Some of my favorite ships are my first cruise was Carnival Sensation. And I mean, it no longer exists, but I would say that's one of my favorite cruise ships. Um, I like having those smaller ships. Guys, I was on Margarita's at Sea. I liked that cruise ship. I liked how small it was. It had everything you needed, and it was small. Not a whole lot of people. wasn't overcrowded. It had the entertainment. It had food. I don't have a problem with the small ship. So I'm not one that has to have the biggest, best thing. Not at all. Um, because I'll be honest, like Icon of the Seas was great. But would I ever book Icon again? Probably not. One, because of the price. <laughs> Two, because I think it's a little too big. The size of the ship doesn't matter? No, the size of the ship doesn't matter. <laughs> We're a family channel. <laughs> uh, it says, we can hear better than the noise in the background. If I got to move, let me know. I can move. Uh... Welcome in, uh, Shig and Allen's Travel. Appreciate you guys being here. It says, join us July 15th, Carnival Magic, 11 days out of San Francisco. I'd love to meet you. I'm actually on board. Um, what cruise am I on at that time? I'm actually on Carnival Horizon at that time. Yep, my birthday is two days before that. I'm actually getting on Life and V's group cruise with a few other content creators and their families for that cruise. Um, so, yeah, we'll be available for that one. But I do want to get to Alaska this season. Uh, let's see. If I want to book MSC Cruise on board, deposit at Future Cruise Desk, which claims you will get the best deal. Can you use? Can you still use a TA? MSC MSC claims you can. Yes, you can. Pretty much any cruise line. If you if you already have a travel advisor, if you book a cruise on the ship, they, it all automatically comes back to us. If you don't have a travel advisor and you book it on the ship and then you want to transfer it, you have between 30 and 60 days, depending on the cruise line, uh, to get it transferred to that travel advisor. So you can. I'll be honest. I don't know if booking that way gets you the best deal. What it does is it gets you a little bit of onboard credit. Um, and it's usually not a whole lot. So you might pay. The benefit of booking on board is you get a lower deposit. So like Royal Caribbean is great about it. Because typically for Royal Caribbean, um, for instance, a family of five, it's a $250 deposit for a seven-day cruise. That's a lot of money to put out if you're booking. We book two, three years out. You don't want to be out, what's that, $1,250? You don't want to be out of that for that long. So if you book it on the ship, you can put down a $100 deposit per person for a seven-night cruise. So that is the benefit of booking. I don't think you really save a whole lot. Um you get that benefit of a lower deposit and you might get a little bit of onboard credit. Usually onboard credit is not much. It'll say it'll say up to like two fifty, you might get twenty five dollars, maybe fifty, but yeah, but yeah, definitely if you book it on it doesn't hurt because it could be combinable. So like if you book it on, on the if you book it on the ship and then decide you want to transfer to a travel agent, sometimes I offer booking promotions. I will if you already have onboard credit, I might add some more on there. So it just depends. Um, everyone speaking to Team Reese, Cruise Control TV, welcome in. Appreciate you guys being here. Since I have three cruises booked this summer, I'm going to be like you when I grow up. You guys are going to be cruising for sure. That's awesome. Welcome in. Um, welcome in, Captain. It says, hey, hope y'all are having an amazing cruise. We are. Looks like we're leaving Cabo. I can't tell if we're moving or not. I think we might have just turned a little bit to let Carnival Miracle out or something. Or maybe Carnival Miracle wasn't moving at all. Maybe it was us all this time. <laughs> uh, Tracy, yes, says, hello there. Looking forward to our cruise in July. Yes. Yes, because Tracy, you're on board our group cruise. So, yeah, I look forward to meeting you. Welcome in, 
G Fox, appreciate you being here. We're having a great time. Oh, hold on. Yep, we're having a great time. I just thought I would go live from Cabo. We're preparing to sail away. Um, where'd that go? Um, yeah, we're preparing to sail away, so I just wanted to come in. Because I really haven't gone live. The reception's been kind of iffy in the ship. So I um, haven't been able to upload a vlog or anything. But if you're tuning in now, we're on Boat Carnival Pan Around. This is day six. So um, one more day, and then I'm off of the ship, and I'm on to the next one. Uh, Zoe Cat Turner says, if I prefer small ships, less people, more port days, what cruise ship line would you suggest? Um, a Royal Caribbean ship. Um, my gosh. Royal Caribbean has some ships that leave out of, like, um, out of Barbados. They have some that leave out of San Juan. And they will get you to, like, six ports. So it might be a seven-day sailing. I'm trying to think of one. Brilliance of the Seas. Brilliance of the Seas will leave. And I think Ovation as well. I think. I have to look. But yeah, so Royal Caribbean will offer like a seven night sailing. And it'll bounce from island to island. Um, Eastern, Southern Caribbean. I would say do one of those. Um, we haven't yet. We are booked on one for next year now. I think it's Brilliance of the Seas actually. Um, it's one of their older ships. So yeah, if you like the smaller ships and you want more port days, which is what I like. Definitely do that. Don't leave out. If you leave out of like Miami, because of the distance it is to get to some of these islands, you're only going to get three, sometimes four ports. If you leave out of San Juan or leave out of uh, Barbados, then you're going to get more ports. It's going to be a smaller ship, but it's going to be more ports. Hey, to ask, will you be working a little bit tomorrow? Absolutely. I'm working every day. So send me a message. Yep, I've been working this whole cruise. Sugar and Allen says, are you still doing the Utopian Idol? We are not. Um, we are booked on another cruise, so we weren't able to move it to the new date. I will still be on the original in our role. Um, just me and Dice. Um, decided it wasn't worth to have the whole family on if we weren't going to be on the inaugural. But honestly, we're waiting to see if World Caribbean is going to invite us for the preview sailing. If we get invited to the preview sailing, we're going to cancel the other one. So um, that's our hope. We'll see what happens. Um, Legacia, just send me a message. Welcome, Emelina. Appreciate you being here. We live in the horizon. Uh, Thanksgiving week, ABC Islands. Nice. Very nice. Now, we did Aruba, Curacao for Thanksgiving this past year. We didn't, we didn't have, we have not been to Bonaire yet. Uh, Captain Hemi says we are booked on Panorama July 2025. So, can't wait. It looks like Florence is taking the long way around the passage to get over there. Yeah, it's on its way for sure. I'm excited to see that ship. I, we were on the U.S. and Argo for Venencia. Um, we will be on Florence in late May. First time cruiser coming up this summer on how the Wi-Fi calling works. If I have a Wi-Fi package, is that enough to make a Wi-Fi call? Or do I need to have some particular app? You can um, use like um, WhatsApp to make Wi-Fi calls. Um, but the other person has to have WhatsApp. You can't make calls from your phone. You're gonna get charged roaming. Um, if you have, if you have like Apple and you're calling it Apple to Apple, you can do a FaceTime with Wi-Fi. Um, but yeah, if you're doing Wi-Fi calling, you need to have like WhatsApp. That's gonna be your best thing. But again, WhatsApp only works if the person you're calling has WhatsApp as well. So if you have people back home that you need to get in touch with, make sure they download WhatsApp. Um, but if you have an app, I don't know how. Androids work, but um, if you have an app, or like whenever I'm cruising solo, I can call the boys FaceTime or what have you on their apples. Ron has an Android, so I can't call him. I use Facebook Messenger to call him um, or WhatsApp. So yeah, uh, but you have to have Wi-Fi. You need to get on airplane mode as soon as you get, as soon as you start sailing away. Otherwise, you're going to get some roaming charges. Um, have you taken a Hawaiian cruise? I think they have three three days, sea days there and back. Yeah, we have not done Hawaii yet. Um, that is honestly the reason we haven't, is because sometimes it's longer than that. Sometimes it's like five sea days out, five sea days back. Um, it's a lot of sea days for me, so we have not. I think when we do Hawaii, it's probably going to be us flying there and then going to the islands from there. Um, I don't think I can do the five, the five sea days. That's just a lot for me. Um, who's playing at the piano bar? I don't know. We have not made it to the piano bar. We've been in there a few times. Um, but I don't know who's playing, fortunately. 
Uh, looks like somebody became a channel member. I don't know. Oh, Q Creations. Thank you so much for becoming a Platinum member. Really do appreciate it. I actually have a, a members only vlog that I've been trying to upload. And actually, Team Reese is here. And I, I gave them a shout out because Team Reese um, has a membership. If you guys don't know Team Reese, be sure to check them out. They hit 3,000 subscribers last week or the week before. Um, Kiki did a... A travel day vlog and i used to do travel day as part of my embarkation day and i stopped doing that but i thought when she posted her mem her member only um travel day that that was probably a good idea to give the travel give the members an idea of what we do on a travel day since i removed those from our vlogs so be sure to check out team reese um i think i will be on a cruise with you doing horizons live 14 i will see you on board i will see you on board are you part of um life of these group cruise because, yep, I'll be on board. Um, right now, it's myself, my sister, Cheryl. She'll be on board. Um, my brother and sister-in-law. And I'm debating. I'm debating if the kids are going with me. <laughs> so, uh, debating. They are booked. We haven't paid yet. We haven't paid in full. It's actually due. So I have to make final payment, I think, next week. But I'm debating whether I'm taking them because they have summer activities. So I booked them originally not realizing what their summer schedules are so once i get back home and figure out what their schedules are like i'll decide whether they're coming but i will for sure be on i don't know what they'll be doing but i'll for sure be on that cruise yeah it's a place to be it's a life to be yeah we will be now, david will you be on board yep i will be there so looking forward to that so like i said i don't know who's going with me but i will be on board all right So yeah, if you guys have any other questions, feel free. It says use the email on website to contact you to set up cruise. Absolutely, yep. It's cruise at majoradventurestravel.com. Thank you. Yep, you can email me there. Usually in the description box of our videos, I have contact information there. Or you can send me a message on um, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Uh, is it Prince? I'll be there this summer. So July, you'll be on Horizon. Wow. Carla says, nope, just right. I've done a Melanet C group and I'm doing live with us TV next month. Nice. We have not had the chance to do a Melanet C group cruise, but we were on board when Rich and Jazzy were on Celebration Inaugural. So it was like an unofficial Melanet C, but um, we have not done an official one because every time they announce, we're already booked. We book out two, three years. And so when they announce it always overlaps because that's their Alaska cruise. Their Alaska cruise this July. We can't do it. And then Life with Us TV, what which cruise are they doing? I'm not familiar with which cruise. She's going to make you drink the Malibu. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> so yeah, so that's why I'm like, ah, maybe I'll leave the kids on for this one. <laughs> I might do less vlogging too. Because it's probably, I think, I'm, I think I'm overdue for a cruise without a camera. I told Ron that. I said, I think I'm going to get to that point where where I cruise without a camera. So, um, what else? So, yeah, so we're just preparing to sail away. Beautiful here in Alaska right now. I love spring. Now, do you live in Alaska? I really want to get back this summer. Really want to get back there. I don't know. We'll try. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm sure it's beautiful. Welcome in, Shalanda. Appreciate you being here. All right. So our next vlog series, we still are working. You're in Juno. Well, I'm sure it's beautiful. Um, we were in Juno last year. You were four. Yeah. We did the Mendenhall Glacier. We went to the salmon hatchery. Had the salmon bake. All of that was beautiful. So it was a celebration May 12th. Is that your next cruise? Oh, that's Life with Us TV. I did see that. I did see that. I have to get on one of their cruises. They're very, their story is very similar to ours. Um, I, I love them. Sorry, last question. Can you explain the group cruises? How do people get notified of these? Um, so for our group cruises, I mentioned it during like live streams. Um, we just started. So like the one we have for MSC, I have three cabins left. We have 115 people booked. Um, I've been announcing that for the past year just on social media. So follow us on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. I post things there. Um, we have a Carnival group cruise. Next. 
Carnival Conquest <laughs> uh, July 21st of 2025. It is going to Carnival's new private island Celebration um, Key. And we are actually on the first sailing going to Celebration Key. But I think this island is going to be so amazing. It's going to be so large that I need two days to actually get content for it. So we decided to do a back-to-back -back on Carnival Conquest. Now, Carnival Conquest is not a ship that I really wanted to get back on again. But it's the first ship going to the new island. And I figured, well, if we're going to be going there, we're going to do a back-to-back -back until we have a group joining us. Um, so we'll have people on board for that one. And then Alaska next year, Quantum of the Sea. So we announced it on social media. Um, and our group cruises may look very different than like Melon and Nancy. We're kind of, if you guys follow us, we're kind of laid back. <laughs> not to say Melon and Nancy, they're not. Um, so our group cruise is more, you know, laid back. We'll do some excursions, some activities, but it's not going to be your typical Melon and Nancy group cruise. Uh, from what I've seen of those vlogs, not not to say there's anything with, wrong with that, but um, our style will probably look different. So people cruise different groups for different reasons, and just know ours probably isn't that turn up, <laughs> that turn up group cruise, um, more family friendly, um, you know, relaxing. Um, Captain says we booked so far out too, so it's hard to take a group 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 cruise. Unfortunate, we'll be on celebration in July when y'all are in Alaska. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Um, the same here. I tend to book around my group cruise depending on its duration and cost. Yeah. Uh, Legacia says, I think I would like to join that one. Would love to be first on the island. Now, the group that we have going to the island is not the first sailing. The first sailing going to Car uh, Celebration Key is July 18th, Carnival Conquest. We're booked on that one. That is not the group. They didn't have group space available for that sailing. It's a three day sailing. So we decided to do a back-to-back. -back. So we're going to be on the 18th. The 21st is the group cruise. So if you want to be on the very first ship going to Celebration Key, you need to get booked for July 18th. We will be on board for that one. But it's not a group cruise. We will be on board for that because I want to see the island. See, Life with Us is we are also on the Vista May 26th already. So you guys are cruising. You guys are really cruising. Um, all right, let's see. Well, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I think we're probably going to get ready to wrap it up. Jim Marie, you got to pick her up in the next 25 minutes or so. Uh, she really loves the kids' club, so um, we let her stay as long as she as long as she can. They'll reopen again tonight at six for dinner. So they're back to if you guys cruise carnival, they're back to having dinner with the kids. Jim Marie doesn't usually like to do that because she doesn't like to eat like kids' food. She doesn't like to eat chicken nuggets and grilled cheese. Um, so. We'll see. Jessica says, when does Cruise Lines release 2027? Usually Cruise Lines release like two years out. So I wouldn't expect anything until 2025 um, for 2027. Maybe late 2024 for some Cruise Lines, but probably not till 2025. Do you do anything really adventurous like swimming with sharks? I want to swim with sharks, David. Um, I think the next time we go to Bimini, I'm going to do that. And um, we do adventurous things. I've been skydiving. Um, we've gone dune buggy riding. We do some adventurous things. Um, we just like to be safe. <laughs> so, um, Ron says I'm married to him. Yeah. Uh, parasailing. Um, I don't know. The way my weight is set up, I don't know about parasailing. <laughs> I don't know about that. We'll have to see. But yeah, I've gone skydiving. We've gone skydiving from 15,000 uh, feet in actually Cape Canaveral. So, yeah, there's a video out there on YouTube, too. I'll share it with you guys. <laughs> uh, this is from 15 years ago, though, so it's been up some time. Um, but, yeah, we, we do some adventurous things. Welcome in, uh, Caroline. Appreciate you being here. We're just wrapping up. We were up to, like, people watching, and now we dropped off all of a sudden. So I thought I lost reception. It's a skydiving different things and um yeah everything though is sort of like, i do want to learn how to dive that's something that i that's like a goal and i'm also weird i love sharks <laughs> um so shark week like that's my thing i told ron i would like to be one of those people that get to go under while like dive under in a cage and let the sharks kind of come up like i would like that ron said taking a bus in a foreign country is a little adventurous a city bus yeah yeah. Uh, Timur says if Ray had more 
have one more free vacation that we can make your group crews work. I wish the 4th of July fell on Friday instead of Thursday. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's weird the way it fell. Yeah, I wish you guys could join us. But yeah, 4th of July, it is weird this year. Welcome in, uh, Travel Vibes with Angel. Appreciate you being here. And you have a couple group cruises coming up as well. I really want to try to get on your Virgin Voyages. I just don't know if it's going to work for a schedule. Um, I think it's August, I believe. I think it's because it's right around the kids going back to school. Um, see what C says. It just got choppy, but not sure if it's you. But it's probably us. I think we're starting to move. Um, and we're about to sign off here. We've been live for an, almost an hour and 15 minutes. But I appreciate you guys tuning in. I probably won't go live again. I'll go live again from Discovery Princess in a few days. Um, so like I said, if you're tuning in now, we get off this ship. What's, it, what's today? Thursday. Today's Thursday. We get off the ship on Saturday. And Sunday morning, I board uh, Discovery Princess. The kids and Ron are going back home on Saturday. They have a late flight, though, so. All right. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign off because we lost a third or two-thirds of who thick. Blue iguana? I don't. And that's disappointing. So, it's like they changed all the ingredients on blue iguana. You guys, know, I'm talking about the breakfast brew. If you guys know I eat that, that's my favorite go-to breakfast. But I've had it twice, this cruise. Very I've only had it twice. So they changed the tortilla. So we always do the jalapeno tortilla. And I know this is third world problems. <laughs> but first, first world problems. <laughs> um, the tortilla they changed out, which was the jalapeno wrap. It's a different texture. The eggs are not the same. Um... The sausage, I don't know what was going on with the sausage. It's like they changed all of the ingredients. And tell them about the hash browns. Oh, the hash, the hash browns. Brown. <laughs> so if you guys have the burritos, typically you like the crispy potatoes. They no longer have those. Now they offer like, and I don't know if it's just over in the West Coast. So we'll find out soon when we cruise Carnival back from Miami. Yeah, sorry. And I don't know whether that... I don't know whether it's this ship or if it's they changed it recently because Carmel has been trying to improve their food, which I think overall the food has been good. Uh, but guys, yeah, they didn't need to switch up blue iguana at all. Um, so I'm curious to know. Let me know, um, Angel, if it's different on your ship. But yeah, it's not. It's not good. Even Joe Marie said that, and that's our go-to. Now the uh, tacos are still the same. It's just the breakfast. They change it up. We are sailing away now, aren't we? Yeah, I think we're breaking up because we're stealing away. Uh, she said, I haven't been to breakfast the whole cruise. Why aren't you eating breakfast? Yep, so. All right, so we are sailing away from Cabo. I'm going to take you guys on the other side to see the view, and then we're going to sign off. Yeah, the breakfast burritos are disappointing. All right, I'm going to walk you over here. Okay. I'll show you guys this side, and then we'll sign off. We turn the camera around. Give you guys a view as we pull out. Oh, you might be able to see the arch. Let's see. I think we might be able to see the arch. But it's beautiful. Cabo is beautiful. Let's see. All right. Yes. Yeah, so here are the resorts and the beach. Oh, yeah. You guys will get a view. No, this is not Margaritaville. This is Carnival Panorama. So there are some of the resorts and the beaches. And then here's, so you guys ever see that arch? This is where it is. It's right near port. So you can catch a water taxi out. It's called um, Love Beach. Yeah, I agree with that now, David. I totally agree with that now. Thank you, Shamika. I appreciate it. You guys have a great week as well. I want to see if I can get you guys to see this arch. But yeah, we're sailing away now. So they said you can go snorkeling over here. You just catch a water taxi. So there's beaches right here near Port. Um, not too far. But you, if you want to come further out to what they call the Virgin Beach, which is a beach that doesn't have vendors, um, you can come out here 
people also climb up this mountain they go hiking so there were people up there this morning um is it jay i'm not going to try to uh, mess up her name last name alina um i do i do have a margarita villet series um from a couple weeks ago i just posted that so check it out on my channel um i have two parts to it and and a uh, ship tour but yeah margarita villet c i don't think it is as bad as some of vlogs made it out to be i do know that they recently had some renovations so um me being on it was during the renovation time or after the renovation so um yeah you'll have a good time and they have a four and five night sailing starting in june so check them out oh you won that at the mall that's awesome that's awesome so yeah so you get some really nice views from here i don't know if we'll be able to, all those boats over there over there that's kind of where the arch is so if you take a tour um you can actually book a, a small boat that will go up toward it yes i do recommend it yep if you just watch my vlogs i'll kind of tell you some of the things i didn't like about it and but most of it i liked All right. I don't know if I'll be able to see the, the arch, but yeah, but if you guys are going to be in Cabo, definitely catch a boat right out. It's be very scenic. Oh, Shamika, have a good time on Carnival Magic. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I have to get ready to get Joe Marie. So, I appreciate you guys watching. This kind of makes you want to stay at the resorts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Yep. So, maybe one day we'll come to Cabo and stay at the resorts. Oh, I'll be honest. I like the Caribbean blue water. It says, awesome. Thank you. It's the first time my family and myself will be going. We are scared. No reason to be scared. No reason to be scared. Um, will it be your first time at Margaritaville or your first time cruising at all? I always recommend first time cruisers to use a travel advisor because we can help, you know, you not to worry so much. Give you some tips and tricks and things like that. But yeah, you won't have any issues on Margaritaville at sea. It's, I think it's a good cruise because um, it's smaller. Yeah. Um, says they have man eating squid there. Um, I believe it. <laughs> we saw some huge, some huge jellyfish um, yesterday. Yep. Oh, first time cruise at all. Yeah. Yeah. You'll we'll have fun. You'll we'll have fun. Yeah. Just check out my vlogs. I have, um, they were posted like two weeks ago. There's um, Margarita Belt Sea Embarkation Day, kind of what I did in Freeport, and then a ship tour. So check it out. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I appreciate you guys being here. Um, like I said, I'll go live again in a few days from Discovery Princess. Next vlog will be out Saturday. Um, not a, we will not have a vlog going out tomorrow because it's not uploading. So the next vlog will go out on um, Saturday. And members, I will have a vlog, hopefully two vlogs for you on Saturday. So um, those will come out. But I appreciate you guys watching. We're going to go ahead and pick up Joe from the Kids Club and enjoy the rest of the night. All right. I will see you guys later. You guys have a great week, rest of the week, and a great weekend. I'll chat with you later.